news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. And I'm John Evans. A sheriff's office plagued with claims of racism is working to change the department. The top law enforcement officer is making some internal changes and tonight he got the blessings of county leaders. WECT's Cassie Simmons heard county commissioners approve request made by the new sheriff, Bill Rogers. Cassie, one of the changes is adding a position to focus solely on diversity. That's right, Fran. Rogers said having a full-time diversity, inclusion, and equity specialist will not only help the community heal from previous racial tensions, it will give neighbors new reason to trust their local law enforcement. Sheriff Bill Rogers has been on the job for about a month. It's been a busy start as he works to gain back the community's trust after the previous sheriff made racist comments toward black employees. The recorded conversation led the DA to seek former Sheriff Jody Green's removal before he resigned from office less than two months after winning the election in November. Since Rogers' appointment, he wants to make sure everyone has trust in his office by adding a new diversity, equity, and inclusion specialist position. It's going to help within the department also, within the officers, the rank structure to the department. I want everybody to feel that they've been treated equally and treated fairly, plus help with our community. Lakeisha Jordan is moving into the position after 20 years with the sheriff's office. This was something that was needed. It was actually needed a long time ago. She hopes it brings the community together. We want everybody to be included. We're not going to leave anybody out, regardless of skin color, age, any of that. Everybody's going to be included, and it's going to be done in a fair way. Commissioners eagerly approved the position, even making a modification to pay the specialist at a lieutenant's level. We've got great employees and we've got great citizens. I'm just asking us all to work together and focus our energy on growth. Sheriff Rogers says community members he's spoken with have already given the move a nod of approval. We then went to some community events. It's a big response from the community with somebody doing that full time to bridge the gap between law enforcement and communities because law enforcement ain't got such a good name now throughout the United States. I'm excited. I'm very excited. We're just going to make Columbus County a better place to be. All in hopes of bringing the Columbus County community together as one. That was just one of three things commissioners approved for the sheriff tonight. They also approved his request to hire a company to expand the animal shelter to better handle large animals like horses. The sheriff also got the approval to audit the office's evidence locker, and he tells me that's part of his efforts to get the sheriff's office accredited, something he says the office hasn't achieved before. Fran? All right, thanks, Cassie.